with Roman Reigns now passing a thousand days, over a thousand days as the WWE Undisputed Universal Champion, a lot of shine, a lot of attention seems to be taken away from the rest of the champions on WWE's main roster. And unfortunately, the Intercontinental Championship is not the exception. Even though Gunther, the current ring general, the current Intercontinental Champion, is now over a year in his title reign. For the first time in over 20 years, the Intercontinental Champion has passed a year in his championship reign. I believe the something in the same vein as this has only happened twice in those 20 plus years, and that's been with the United States Championship, Dean Ambrose, and MVP in the past. So with that said, I'm here to make a list on five people, five superstars, who could end Gunther's reign as Intercontinental Champion in, in the near future, Maybe not, maybe yes, but in the meantime, for right now, at the bottom of my list, at number five, I have a guy, a wrestler, a performer, by the name of Matt Riddle. And it's nothing against Matt Riddle. I believe that if you build him the correct way, the proper way, he could definitely dethrone Gunther as Intercontinental Champion. But, here's the thing. There have been reports on wrestling news websites that WWE is looking to create a brand new history, brand new record-breaking champions. And because Matt Riddle right now seems to be the next guy that Gunther is going to get in the ring with, it just seems like, yeah, Riddle's not going to be the, the man to break Gunther's undefeated streak and his current Intercontinental Championship reign. But, no, obviously, we all can tell they're going to deliver bangers, whether it's at money, well, not at money in the bank. Riddle's already in the match. SummerSlam. SummerSlam, Riddle versus Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. I have no doubt in my mind Gunther's going to return, retain, but Riddle is definitely an option, a viable option in the distant future. Much like they keep having Ricochet go up against Gunther after all these months have passed by since their feud. The same thing can happen with Riddle. At number four, I have one of my current uh, favorite performers on Monday Night Raw and in wrestling today. And unfortunately, right now, he's a part of a tag team, a very entertaining tag team, which isn't the only case in this list. But I just feel like ever since he got called up from NXT, he hasn't been given his due as far as singles competition is concerned. Of course, I'm talking about Chad Gable. Thank you. Love it. Love to see it. The shoosh, everything he's created, he's created his own character, his own charisma, his own personality on WWE television. And we've seen it at WrestleMania. We've seen it multiple times on Monday Night Raw. There is no doubt in anybody, in any, in any fan's mind that Chad Gable can go in that ring and if given the opportunity and if the match gets played out the way it's played out so that Chad Gable beats Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship it can totally happen I can see it happening I wouldn't mind it because it would put Chad Gable over very very much with the WWE Universe do I think it's gonna happen probably not will it happen anytime soon if if it is the exception, probably not. But at this point, I feel like Chad Gable has about a year left in his shelf life with American Alpha before he drifts away into singles competition. He's proven it. He's got the personality to be a singles competitor. It's just a matter of booking him in that manner. So that's my number four spot with Chad Gable. And number three... Somebody who has so much charisma, so much mystique. He is the king of strong style, former king of the ring winner as well. I'm talking, of course, about Shinsuke Nakamura. They really, really have to revitalize his career in WWE. Now, Shinsuke Nakamura's return helps. How they've presented him so far 
it also helps because it seems like he's got new life in his character and his passion for professional wrestling with all this time away. The WWE Universe missed him. How could you not? But again, if you're going to end Gunther's historic reign as Intercontinental Champion, you got to prepare these guys, all these wrestlers, to really be able to beat Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. And right now, at this moment in time, Shinsuke Nakamura is not that man. But like I said, I th I'm assuming the plan is Matt Riddle versus Gunther at SummerSlam for the Intercontinental Championship. That gives us pretty much until late July, early August to keep building more guys up that Gunther keeps fighting. But definitely, Nakamura, former King of the Ring tournament winner, former Royal Rumble match winner, He's been Intercontinental Champion before, if I'm not mistaken. So, we'll just have to wait and see. King of Strong Style versus one of the most imposing figures, not only on Monday Night Raw, but in professional wrestling today in Gunther. I'm paying money to see that. And Nakamura definitely has a chance to dethrone Gunther. At number two, I'm talking about the man that just had the banger this past week. This past Monday night on Raw. I'm talking about a former Universal Champion. Former Ring of Honor Champion, I believe. Uh, I might be mistaken right there. Former NXT Champion. Kevin Owens. And this is the one exception in this list. That I believe. He's at number two. That I believe. Can beat him today. And it would not be that big of a deal. Simply because of his pedigree. His accomplishments. Everything. And especially after that match, I want them to keep going at it. I want them to keep going one-on-one -on -one for the title. One-on-one -on -one just on a weekly basis they can deliver. And if Kevin Owens was to defeat Gunther and end his reign and his undefeated streak, I don't think it would hurt Gunther at all because we're talking about a WrestleMania main eventer. He's been a WrestleMania main eventer two times in a row at this point. Former world champion. Greatly underappreciated. He's hasn't held enough gold in WWE. Enough world championships for that matter as well. He should be a multi-time world champion in WWE. But he's not because of Brock Lesnar when he was Universal Champion. Because of Goldberg. Because of uh, Roman Reigns at this point in time. Those long-ass championship reigns have prevented other guys from getting those title reigns. So with that said, Kevin Owens beating Gunther, that's a no-brainer. It just you yeah, just have to wait for the exact right time to do it. And finally, at number one, the number one superstar I have in my mind that could right now end Gunther's Intercontinental Championship reign over 365 days. That man is Gunther himself. And I don't mean that he'll sabotage himself. I don't mean that he'll uh, strip himself of the title or whatever. All of that. I don't mean that. I mean, WWE has the perfect opportunity to have him break the Honky Tonk Man's record for the Intercontinental Championship longest reign of all time and lead that into facing off against the World Heavyweight Champion in not of the unification match, Stop those. We, it's it's beyond the point of discussion. But just basically what WCW did with Goldberg when he was United States champion, facing off against the world champion Hollywood Hulk Hogan back then, they could do the exact same thing in WWE with Gunter for the Intercontinental Championship, facing off against the world heavyweight champion down the line. Much like they did also with Warrior and Hogan at, at, at some point at WrestleMania. And that could lead him to still be undefeated. He never truly lost the Intercontinental Championship. And he's now your world champion. And I, and I understand it's a bit of a cop-out that I don't get my number one superstar right now. But I just believe that much like with AEW with Jade and the TBS title. That's my belief. That's the best way to protect your stars Especially when they're this hyped up, when they this, when they got this kind of uh, undefeated streak and stature and aura about them, that's 
But that's just my belief. But in the meantime, tune in later on tonight to the USA Network for another episode of Monday Night Raw, where we're, where we're going to see Gunther and Imperium reign over the red brand once again what are your thoughts on the list i made do you have any other options do you have any other ideas on how to end gunther's intercontinental championship reign in the near future in the distant future it has to it has to end at some point but at this point let's just enjoy the rain general's work every single week every single monday night so with that said leave your thoughts comments and predictions in the comment section below I'm Alexis Carrillo, this has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.